Bonjour à toutes et à tous. Qu'est-ce que William Thompson aurait dit s'il avait été William à ma place aujourd'hui William today. Thompson, est, il est plus William connu Thompson. sous le nom de Lord Kelvin. Il est connu comme Lord Kelvin, un grand physicien et mathématicien. En 1895, il a dit des machines plus lourdes que l'air If we could fly impossible. machines that are heavier than air, that would be physically impossible. Moins de ans plus tard, Less than 10 years later, voler le flyer the Wright brothers la fois. flew Et their flyer for the first time. Quelques années plus tard, And a few years after that, they were having motorized flights. A few years after that, in the First World War, In the First World War, navigation developed again. So in less than 10 years, this metamorphosis took place in the proper sense, the proper meaning of, of the term. And it's, it's basically the, the chrysalis that turns into a butterfly. And it's very inspiring in the world of um, aviation. That's an example, and of course there are many others. Second mortal metamorphosis, In, is in flight security, flight safety. The average lifespan of, of a plane in the First World War was half an hour. That's what it lasted. Then just after the Second World War, commercial navigation had, had started to develop. The safety that we had then, lots of people um, traveled by plane in the 50s and the 60s. It was 250 times worse than it is now. 250 times, so we've improved safety by that factor since the 1960s. That transformation is absolutely incredible in terms of reliability of performance and aeroplane safety. And it's become the safest means of transport to travel from point A to point B around the planet. The third metamorphosis in aviation Well, that was to, um, tra to, to move from a uh, move from a elitist mode of transport to a democratic mode of transport. In 1914, in the United States, there was a flight there. There was a 30 kilo there was a 30 kilometer flight, and you had to pay 400. $400, that's the equivalent of $10,000 today. It's, it's it would be like a space flight, as we, as we saw with Richard Branson recently. Now we know the price of, of plane tickets. 40% of French people take a flight at least once a year. It's become a real democratic means of transport. Sometimes we're accused of having plane tickets that don't cost enough. That's the third metamorphosis. Fourth metamorphosis. That's the one that we're undergoing at the moment. Aviation is a real good for, for human society. When the Chicago Convention was signed, the idea was to To, to make use of the atmosphere possible for everyone. And it's written in the Chicago Convention. It's about allowing human beings to, to live together. While aviation is a, is a wonderful solution for society, it emits carbon. It's the mode of transport ultimate that has no need of infrastructure other than air, that doesn't have any impact, any If, it, it, to have no scars on, 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 on the world, we need to be able to ensure that it decarbonizes. Airbus has resolved to move towards the ecolo ecological transition. And then you can look back to Lord Kelvin. Lots of people have explained to us it's not possible to decarbonize like that. Faire de la transformation, c'est conduire du changement. Tran leading transformation is about leading, leading change. There's a definition of leadership. I'm going to, I like this quote, leadership is the capacity, capacity to, a, to lead change. It's about transforming or creating metamorphosis 
Above all, it's perhaps leading change. Another definition of leadership is that a leader imports stress and exports enthusiasm. Lots of people come to up to us and say, why is it not working? Why are there so many obstacles? You're not going to manage it. You're not going to achieve this. The entrepreneur or the leader, the transformer, their role is to, to absorb all this negative en energy where we're here and we can't do it, and we need to transform that into positivity and enthusiasm. And there's a third definition of leadership I'd like to share with you. Leadership is make them want. Give them, give them a desire. The question I'd like to ask you is, do you have this desire? Est-ce que vous avez vraiment envie? Do you en really fait, have this desire? Vous avez tellement envie que you vous have arrivez such à donner desire envie aux that autres. you can manage to impart that Merci to others. Thank you for your attention and good luck to everyone.